What up guys, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Had Reading Sorcerer's Powers. This is part four. In the last part, I brought up the Izuku and Bakugo, well, went to had their first day at UA with them meeting their homeroom teacher, Aizawa, and them taking the court evaluation test with uh, all, every one of them doing somewhat pretty pretty well with the one getting expelled being well Mineta and with that said let's get into this as everyone is still pretty shocked about Mineta getting expelled on the first day is Izuku was shocked that they that he was serious about being expelled and what didn't know what to say anything as soon after he wanted to say you know even though Mineta got expelled, I think we should at least try to get to know one another. As they all think, what do you mean? He's saying, well, why don't we all just hang out? Aizawa, Mr. Aizawa did say we have, we're free to go back home if we want. There, I know a pretty good place. I know a pretty good mall, mall to go to. As a couple, as Bakyo saying, there, there you go again trying to be all friendly Ugh. but knowing you I'll, I'll tag along just to keep an eye on you that's for sure as soon after Oshaka saying I w I'm going to tag along with Ida and Makis willing to as well soon after a couple everyone else in class decided to, to come too however the few people being well Yusis and, and Shoto they're they're the only ones who aren't going to tag along who aren't going to the mall with everyone else as soon well, a couple people in the class were asking izuku why would you go this far i mean we all just met as soon well after what happened with mineta who knows we might all of us might get expelled again so i think it's best that we get to know each other before then but so why not even if it's best to make friends while while you can, even though Mr. Aizawa said not to, because we're trained to be heroes. However, there is one thing that he did forget. It's a hero that has connections to his fellow heroes that, he, that they're able to become strong. They can't always do things on their own after all. As soon, everyone soon agrees with them, with everyone introducing themselves is every, everyone in canon some people in canon are still here however a few people haven't the one that will be replacing sato will be laura s arsade the one that's replacing shoji is well uses alborea however he didn't tag along with them as for coda he's replaced by emma so, and I know some of you guys may be Coda fans. And the one that's going to be replacing Saro is, well, Machias. So, yeah. Those are the characters. So, those are the trails of Cold Steel characters that will be replacing a, a couple of classmates within UA. As many of them did arrive at the mall, e many of the girls actually did go shopping. And a couple of the guys did hang out. Hat were hanging out together. As for Izuku, he knew that the girls would be carrying a lot of bags, so him and ba so he volunteered him and Bakugo to help out. However, Bakugo was quite pissed that he volunteered him, saying, "Come on, you really didn't make one heck of an appearance at during the on the first day, and it wasn't a positive one. So I think you're going to need to make up for that, don't you think, Kachan?" As he gives a smile to his childhood friend, with Baku saying, Ugh, fine. As saying, as he screams out, Hey, if you, if you idiot girls need some help, we're willing to carry them. That's all I'm saying. As they feel, as they felt kind of nervous. With Bakugo being there, but Izuku did seem like he was a good guy to hang around with. As a few of them did like that how Izuku was kind of cute. Even though he did look kind of bland at first when they first met him. 
as soon a day as the afternoon goes by and Izuku helps out the girls carry a couple of their things as Izuku as a couple of them were worried if Izuku did feel like he was carrying too much as he's saying it's fine and besides it's also good strength training too saying everything can be used as training at that's what my master always told me. As they think, so is he in this for training or is he trying to flirt? As Bakyo saying, I know you're just trying to be a nice guy, but if you keep this up, half of those girls are gonna fall for you. And I'm not trying to have damage control again this year. And I mean it, Hano, you got it? Saying, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. But you're not gonna stop me from just trying to help, help people out. That's just the kind of person I am. As Bakugo gets pissed, looking at his best friend straight in the eye as saying, Fine, don't stop being you, but just at least try to control you being a lady killer. That's all I'm asking, Hano. As saying, yeah, yeah, I'm I get, I got it. As soon, easy, as, see right, as the day goes by, and Izuku is is not leaving as everybody leaves the mall he, with Izuku having tons of bags around his arms, hands, and even across his even across his neck as both Mina, Toru, Jiro, and even Momo wants to apologize, as saying, "Ah, oh, it's all right. I, I really mean it. I'm glad I could help out. That's all all I could ask for." As he gives off that of an innocent innocent smile, as both Toru and Mina think that he. He really is kind of cute up, up close. As Jiro saying, well, whatever, at any rate. As saying, I'm glad that I got to spend time with you guys. As saying, of course. With Momo saying, of course. As look forward to meeting all of you tomorrow. As Laura and Emma say the same thing. As soon both Emma, Bakugo, and Izuku take the same train since they since all three of them do live in the same neighborhood after all. So that's not, and however, Laura also takes the same train. However, mostly cause she had, she, there's another stop she has to go to. Basically talking with them, she wanted to know more about Izuku as she realized that he, the way he acts and the way he moves, it's almost like that of a swordsman. As she want, as she asked the door, Midoriya, can I ask you a question? As Izuku saying, oh yeah, of course Arsene is saying, well, it's about your fighting style. Tell me, who taught you? Is saying, oh, oh, most people don't know about about swordplay, so I never actually bother to ask. But the only person that does is Kacha on here, saying whatever. Is he tells her that he learned that his fighting his swordplay is that of the eight leaves one blade style as soon as and he was ta and he was taught by the legendary retired hero the sword hermit as Laura is surprised hearing this as she's saying you the sword hermit you mean the the pro hero Yin Kai Fa is saying yeah not many people know about him you know about him saying I know about his fighting style the eight leaves so I knew it was familiar Saying, so how did you know? Well, my father told me about the eight leaves. And he's saying, your father? Who is he? Oh, he's the pro hero, the radiant blade master. As Izuku's jaw dropped, as Bakyo saying, huh? Who the hell is that? As even Emma's surprised that Bakyo doesn't know about him. As Izuku began freaking out, saying, "Your father's the Radiant Blade Master." As he thinks, "Oh man, I should have put two and two together. Your last name is Arsaid. As I should have known that." As saying, "Yes, Victor S. Arsaid, otherwise known as the Radiant Blade Master. My father is the current number three hero as we speak, and he's quite the man." And he's the reason why I wanted to take up the sword and take a profession as a hero. Saying, oh my god, it's amazing. I never expected to meet, meet, the, meet the daughter of the legendary hero. Man, my father has talked so much about him. 
and I've seen him in action. He's quite amazing, saying, of course. Someday I really do wish to be on my father's level. As Hizuki saying, knowing you and how powerful your quirk is, I can actually see it happening. As Laura saying, thank you, Midoriya. Saying, eh, you can call me Izuku. As she's saying, okay then, then call me Laura. It only seems fair, don't you think? Saying, yes. As the two shake hands of their new friendship. As Bakyo saying, well, there he goes again. As Emma thinks, what do you mean? Ah, uh, it's better not. I'm just gonna give myself a headache if I explain. As Emma is kind of curious, is saying, okay, but she just leaves it be. With the next day happens, as, he's, as everyone in class 1A arrives, as they see somebody else at the, in the classroom, somebody pretty early, that being Mineta, as they all wonder, wait, Mineta, weren't you expelled? As he gives off that of a smug smile saying, well, that was only a cow. That was only a joke that Mr. Aizawa played on me. I'm not really expelled. As he tries, as he laughs it off. As Izuku noticed, saying, Okay, what's the real reason why you're here? As saying, Ugh, I was expelled. It was a scare tactic that Aizawa played on us to give it all we got. And also for me to take things seriously. That's what. As Izuku saying, I thought so. As Yusuf soon comes in, as he hears this saying, Oh, that, now that is interesting. But I'm actually glad, glad to hear that one of our stu one of our classmates is not truly expelled. As, as soon Makis comes in saying, Oh, you're just saying that. You just try, trying to get on people's good side. Is saying, No, not really. I'm just express. I'm just saying how I feel. That's all. However, given that your performance yesterday, I guess it only makes sense that you would feel a lot more heartbroken about this from somebody as saying, what the hell? As saying, guys, enough. No fighting. This is just the beginning of the class. As even Ida steps in saying, of course, we just began our sec. This is only our second day. Do not start fights. As saying, I think the two of you shouldn't talk, especially what yesterday with Bakugo. So don't be such hypocritical with me. As soon he's as Maki is saying, just you, just you talking is so condescending. Just because you were born in a wealthy family doesn't mean jack shit here. As you haven't worked in the day of your life to actually earn earn a spot here. As Eustace gets pissed, saying, "Oh really? Well, actually, I got in by the entrance exam." If you were thinking I got in here by recommendation, you're dead wrong. As everyone's shocked hearing this, saying the, the positions were already filled. The person, I, if I wanted to get in recommendation, I would have. However, I wanted to get into the school with my own skills and my own skills alone. That's why I took place during the, during the entrance exam's practical exam. My father was against it. But I did it. So, thinking I'm I'm so spoiled as it is, as he, as Monk is saying, why you? If anything, you should be the one that should be spoiled. If anything, as Monk is saying, what the hell did you say? As soon after, he, he is saying, oh, is it because of his father? He's saying, hey, wait. As everyone began thinking, his father. As Ida brings up that Machias' father, Senator Regnitz, is the senator that actually that actually disavowed the law about quirkless people applying for you for hero course classes. As everyone soon surprised, is Maki says it's true. My dad did because he dreamt of becoming a hero when he was just a kid. However, he couldn't because. He was corkless. As soon as Maki, as everyone surprised, think, hearing this, so he went into politics, tried to help his men, and actually made a name for himself. Even though he was corkless, and a lot of people think he didn't deserve it, he still 
worked hard to get where he is now. And don't ex and when I was born with a quirk, I didn't let it go to my head. I promised him that I would become a hero in his stead. The kind of hero that he wanted to be. In my father's name, I'll become I'll become the greatest hero that this world's ever seen. So don't you think those don't you dare think I'm a spoiled little kid because of my father who worked his ass off even though he suffered discrimination. And as soon he was just saying, I misjudged you, Regnants. You're not a spoiled kid. You're just a fool, that's all. Saying what? Because the person that's going to become the next number one hero is me. So I hope you understand that. Saying, like hell I'm gonna let a pompous ass like you become the number one hero. Just you wait, Alborea. As soon sparks begin flying around the classroom, as Izuku saying, man, I'm just really glad that ain't us. As Bakyo saying, what you mean not us? I still plan on kicking your ass, and I'm doing the same to them so I can become the number one hero. Got it, Hano? As Izuku saying, yeah, yeah, I got you, Kachan. As he pats him on the back of the bat on his back, with soon classes beginning. As everything kind of plays out, kind of the same as normal canon, they still have normal classes such as English, uh, math, the world history, and all that. With them also having lunch, with with lunches prepared by the pro hero Lunch Rush. As Izuku was geeking out a little bit about Lunch Rush after all. As soon the day goes with their uh, with their second period being social studies and much and other classes as well with their last class being hero being the hero course class as they all wonder who their teacher is going to be as soon as as soon Laura says I heard a rumor about the number one hero All Might being a teacher here at UA as soon E Emma soon says, oh, I've heard, wait, the number one hero of Japan, All Might, being a teacher? That's surprising. As Izuku hears, the, hears All Might saying, saying, really? All Might? As Buck is saying, well, you guys just woke in the sleeping bear now. As soon as Kirishima asks, why do you say that? Bakugo is saying, isn't it obvious? Hano is a huge All Might fanboy. One of the biggest in the world, as he, as Izuku began writing down everything about All Might, about his agency, about how he became the number one hero, the day he debuted, and everything that he was submit. That's everyone sees sees what Bakugo meant and saying that they did unleash the sleeping bear, as Izuku is actually excited, hoping that All Might's going to be their teacher. As soon the door opens, as they see it isn't All Might actually, but a, a red-haired woman looking like she's in her mid-twenties, and she wears that of a sm of a short yellow dress and also a blue trench coat. And she's saying, "All right, everyone, I hope you're all ready for Hero Course class." As Everyone surprised, wondering who she is, as he, as she soon says, "Oh, right, I should introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sarah Valestine, or you can call me, well, Miss Valestine, since I'll be your hero, co hero combat instructor after all." As saying, "Wait, really? Their hero course student is her?" As Kaminari and kind of Mineta actually like the fact that their hero teacher is a hot babe like her as Mineta focuses on two other things that are pretty unnote that cannot be unnoticed by everyone as soon they say okay then sorry I'm a little bit late though but I had some things to take care of as soon after he's saying tell by your attitude you've just woken up am I right as soon Sarah stopped, just froze for a bit, as saying, well, kinda, yeah, I did late night paperwork, that's all. 
is and plus I'm kind of new to the whole teaching thing so there's that as well as everyone thinks this is something else that never should have happened as saying well any rate with that introductions out of the way uh, it's time for us to start con start hero training as she takes a remote out of her coat pocket and soon presses a button with suitcases coming out of the wall saying each of those suitcases have your specified suit look for your look of your hero costumes you all wrote down what you wanted to have for your costumes after all as soon everyone think grab their suitcases and with Sarah telling them when you get your costumes taken care of get your costumes on and taken care of meet me outside of of ground of Groundfield beta and that's where we're gonna be starting class as soon she soon leaves and waves back at her young students as they all wonder what the heck hurt what the heck combat teacher did they get for this school as they expected somebody that was way more well responsible however izuku couldn't put his mind to something as he feels like he's heard her voice somewhere before but can't remember where as he just doesn't as he thinks it too much and just doesn't really bother as he soon late as he le leaves to put on his hero costume a couple minutes later everyone soon arrives at ground at field beta as it looks like sarah is drinking something but i can't say what though as soon she see soon hears everybody coming saying well looks like everyone's here and not only that some of you look like you got some pretty decent costumes as everyone is in their usual canon costumes like as for well emma usis um machias and laura they're in their drills of cold steel 2 outfits actually like there so yeah as for izuku he comes out in his hero costume as it's the same hero as the same well outfit that Reen has from Trails of Cold Steel 2 as well. But this time it's not red. It's actually green. Alongside him being his custom made Itachi that his, that his master gave him. As he soon has now he's ready for the class to begin. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear them. Sorry this video seems a little pretty short. I did have more for the script. The other half got erased and I couldn't remember it because it got corrupt. But even so, I still hope I still enjoyed making this part. Please like and subscribe, which helps on my channel. And also uh, check out my Discord and my Twitter account as well. Which if you guys have any questions, I'm willing to answer. At any rate. This is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later.